Hi, welcome to Victoria's Garden. If you grow dragon fruits and vegetables, you possibly heard people recommending and treating their plants with Epsom salt. The potential benefits of Epsom salt on plants is a useful debated subject among gardeners. Some gardeners believe using Epsom salts on their plants is the reason for their amazing growth, while others claim Epsom salts are not only useless in at improving plants' health, but actually can be damaging to the condition of the soil. At this point, we look at several facts and evidence to determine which plants would benefit from using Epsom salts. Epsom salts have been used in gardening for hundreds of years. Epsom salt is a natural mineral that is made from hydrated magnesium sulfate. Chemically, it has 10% magnesium and 13% sulfur. These are nutrients that are essential to various plants for growth and development. Epsom salt contains magnesium, which is a vital nutrient that helps a plant perform some of its essential functions. One of these is that magnesium increases a plant's ability to absorb other nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus, without it, plants would struggle to flourish. So, Epsom salt is not only beneficial at providing the plants with magnesium, it helps in ensuring the plant is able to take in the top level of important nutrients from the soil. One of the key elements of Epsom salt is magnesium. Its function to make plants greener. It does this as magnesium is useful in plants creation of chlorophyll, which is what defines a plant's leaf color. Chlorophyll is essential in photosynthesis, a process that allowing plants to make food and absorb energy from the sun. Epsom salt contains two micronutrients which are useful for the plants and these are magnesium and sulfur. It helps seeds develop, makes plants grow thicker, produces more flowers, increases chlorophyll production. It also delivers vital nutrients to supplement your, your regular fertilizer. Epsom salt can help balance nutrients level in, in specific types of soils. If your plants fails to perform well and you suspect a nutrient deficiency, you can get your soil tested to find out what is missing. Magnesium deficiency in, is common in agricultural soil or container soil, which is, has been excessively used and it will need replacing to ensure plants growing in that soil remain healthy. If the magnesium level of your soil has been washed out from heavy rainfall and years of growing tomatoes, for example, then supplementing your soil with Epsom salt could balance out the nutrient level and if improve future crops. Epsom salt contains micronutrients which are beneficial to the health of many plants. However, the main nutrients which plants need are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which are known as NPK. The nutrient's value of Epsom salt is 000, meaning they contain no traces at all of nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium. If you decide to use Epsom salts on your plants, it is essential that you are aware that Epsom salts are not a substitute for fertilizer. Epsom salt do not contain any of the essential nutrients a plant needs. And instead, you should be feeding your plants with a balanced fertilizer to help sustain them. Epsom salts can be beneficial, but this should be used as an additional secondary supplement and not as the primary means of feeding a plant. Epsom salt can be useful to neutralize alkaline soil 
consequently the contrary in acidic soil. If you have acidic soil, then you should refrain from using Epsom salts in your garden, as this could worsen the problem. These are different there are different methods to use Epsom salts in the garden. And the ratio you can use will var vary depending on the application system and the plants you are treating. Ipsum salts in the garden are most commonly used as a foliar spray. You simply mix in the required amount of Ipsum salt with water and spray it on the leaves of the plant. For dragon fruit, you can use it as foliar feed in summer and less during flowering and fruiting. Ipsum salt can also be added to water and used as, as soil drains, watering the plants at the soil level. When planting, you, you can add Ipsum salts directly to the soil or spread it on soil without diluting it in water. At the end, Ipsum salt contains essential micronutrients that are beneficial for plants. They can help to improve soil, quali soil quality in some cases, though it would be unfavorable in others such as acidic soil. Ipsum salt do not contain me any main nutrients and therefore should only be used as supplement, not be used in place of a balanced fertilizer. As always been said, there is no substitute in proper maintenance and continuous learning in farming. Keep safe everyone. Happy farming!